Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Dimma. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the best way to find your foundation match. This is a question that I've been getting ever since I started this channel. It's not something that I started getting last year. It's not a question I started getting this year. I think that as long as I've been on YouTube, I've had people ask me how to find their foundation match. I've even had people go as far as sending me their pictures and asking me what their shade would be in MAC or in NARS. First of all, I don't think that that's a good idea. I just feel like it's not the best way to get matched for foundation. However, I know that with the way things are here, especially considering that this is Nigeria, we don't have altars, Sephora, self Fujis, or those places where you can actually go to and find a lot of the popular high-end or just like, I think, makeup brands that you tend to see here on YouTube. We don't have a lot of that. So a lot of us here in Nigeria, we actually just kind of rely on certain people and reviews and a bunch of other things to buy our foundation shades. And even sometimes when you find resellers or retailers, that sell foundation from some of the more popular brands you see that they don't have testers and I kind of get it sometimes because they claim that it can be expensive for them but you will see that they don't have testers so in this video I'm going to tell you the best ways to find a foundation match and also just give recommendations on things to do I'm going to be recommending some websites I'm also going to cover undertones and also best way to get yourself matched especially if you are in a store so first of all I see people trying to get themselves matched for foundation and they are applying the foundation on the center of their face maybe you start off from the center of your face or then you see them apply it on their forehead that's not the best way to get yourself matched for foundation so this particular tip is for getting yourself matched for a foundation in store or with a tester you have to swatch the foundation on your jawline this area between your jawline and your neck you want something that just like blends very nicely into that area so you swatch here and another place that you can swatch or check is around the edges of your face i think that this is really really important especially this area around this place to see if the foundation blends into your hairline in a very nice way. I wouldn't even say here because most of the time I'd say that we tend to contour. So blending foundation into this place, like, no, I don't think that that's the most accurate way to check, especially if you're still going with contour powder or a contour product later on. But this area here, we don't contour this, this exact area, we don't contour it as much. So know that whatever foundation that you go with has to be something that blends, you know, and then looking at your ear, when you look at your ear, and look at this part of your face it's the same shade i think that these are very good areas to swatch um, foundation before you kind of blend in to see if it matches another thing i'd say is to try as much as possible not to rely on the lighting that they have in the store or the counter when they swatch you so let's say that they kind of swatch you or like you know you find a shade that blends really well or looks really nice like with the store lighting like the lighting they have in store i'd say go outside i always do this all the time and um, so let's say you've gone to the mall to get yourself swatched do other things just swatch it and say that you'll be right back go do other things have a mirror with you look at the shade that they've given you on the natural lights i think that most of the time we tend to forget that people see us with our makeup on under natural lights than they do any type of lighting this applies to so many scenarios like even just outside of swatching i've seen sometimes when people get their makeup done professionally by makeup artists and it looks so good with the ring lights or whatever lighting the artist has come with or did your makeup with but the minute you go outside to this event that you're trying to attend you see that it just does not look as good as it did with the lighting that the artist used for example guys i think that this one is very very important if you get yourself swatched in store go outside go outside for two reasons right first is to see just how good the shade looks on your skin under natural light and number two the reason why i say have it swatched and go do a couple of other things is so that you see how this foundation settles in how it oxidizes that is also very important sometimes you can get swatched it looks good in the store lighting it looks good outside give it two or three hours when the foundation settles and you see that the color changes dramatically at that point it has oxidized air has actually hit it and a lot of foundations tend to change color after that happens they can get a lot darker they can look ashy there's so many things that could actually happen to the shade so look at the foundation that you've been matched with under natural light and just give it two or three hours before actually buying it okay so next is me emphasizing again when you go to get matched for foundation make sure that it matches and blends in nicely with the outer parts of your face so the outer parts of the face are 
always the areas close to the hairline this area here this area here these are the outer parts of your face i actually recommend that you go with foundation that actually just blends nicely into those areas some of the time or a lot of the time the inner parts of our face tend to be a lot lighter than the outer part and that's the reason why when you do or you see people doing a foundation routine they go in with a flat base like a foundation that matches them properly kind of blends into that hairline but then most of the time without going in with any type of highlights they look flat or you look flat i would look flat if i use my current foundation without any type of highlight and contour it's because highlight and contouring in its own way kind of brings structure back to your face and mimics what your face looks like without makeup on so when you want to get matched don't go for foundation that actually matches the inner parts of your face so underneath your eyes forehead this area just everything right in the center because those areas tend to be a lot lighter and you can always bring color and structure back into those areas with highlighting i don't know if this happens every other place but this happens in nigeria and this tends to happen in makeup counters in nigeria a lot i've had conversations with artists that work in counters and i know that women sometimes come into the store asking for foundations that are lighter but in a situation where an artist is trying to match you make sure that they don't that swatching from here and that they don't try to match the foundation to the inner parts of your face because it's most likely going to be light too light and when you're getting matched for foundation let us even say that you're in between shades you'd never want to go lighter Mm -mm, it's never a good idea you never want to go lighter because it's very difficult to get like good coverage especially if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation without looking like a ghost or a clown right it's very very difficult to achieve full coverage if you're using a lighter foundation because the more foundation you're applying the more caskety <laughs> you look so in a situation where let's say you're in between shades and there's one that is slightly lighter and then there's one that is slightly darker go with the darker shade i would highly recommend because it's always easier to fix foundation when it's darker highlight and contouring most likely would fix the problem until you get something that matches you properly but never start out light imagine starting out light and then you having to highlight and then having to contour you're going to look like an ujuju kalaba so with matching foundation to the outer parts of your face that works great if you have even skin tone and you don't have any big or major discoloration going on however if your face is two three shades darker than the rest of your body from your neck downwards try to match your foundation to your neck and chest that makes more sense because that's what like people like it's it's very you, you don't want to be a completely different shade on your face and then your chest especially if you're wearing something that has like an open neckline people are seeing that the two just don't match so if you have like major discoloration on your face and your face is just two to three shades darker than the rest of your body i'd say match your foundation to your neck and chest so to me that last point also emphasizes why the jawline test is so important because even if your face was just way darker than your body you would see once you swatch on your jawline that you should ideally go with something that blends into your neck and chest i think that that's important the very last thing that i would say before moving on to the other thing that i want to talk about in this video is to know your undertone it is very very important i think that if you know what your undertone is you're even able to flag it immediately when someone is trying to match you with a foundation and you're looking at it it doesn't look quite right they're trying to convince you that it looks right if you know your undertone just by looking at the shade that they're matching you with you're able to tell that something is off okay so what is undertone or what are undertones they're basically skin hues they are colors that you have underneath your skin right it's different from skin tone skin tone is completely you know different that goes like light to dark undertones completely different so they are very very common undertones there are some that are not so common and i'm going to kind of break them down and try to tell you guys what to look out for so there is cool there is neutral there is warm and there is olive so when you hear someone say i have red pink or blue undertones they essentially have cool undertones so when you hear an artist say that someone has red pink or blue undertones they have cool undertones when you hear someone or an artist say that a person has yellow or gold undertones they have warm undertones when you hear someone say that you know someone has but like red pink gold 
yellow undertones then it's definitely neutral it's a combination of both so when you hear green undertones that means that the person has olive undertones so personally i have neutral undertones so i have a mix of both cool and warm and with almost every foundation that matches me perfectly there's always an n so for example let's say that you see a foundation that is 420n the n most definitely stands for neutral and that's what i have with a lot of foundations that i use there's always n somewhere there when you see like c most of the time it's always like cool most of the time not all the time because brands name foundations like however they like but then if you see w it's most likely warm so c most likely stands for cool if it's just next to your foundation shade n most likely stands for neutral w most likely stands for warm and o most likely stands for olive and so with almost every foundation i own that just matches me very well um there's always an n somewhere there even with mac like nw with mac stands for neutral warm so i'm always in neutral one way or the other they're more like very like easy ways they're not always like the best ways so let's say people who like gold jewelry tends to look very good on they tend to have warm undertones like if gold jewelry looks way better on you than silver jewelry does there's some warmth there okay if silver jewelry tends to look a lot better on you than gold jewelry does there's some cool something something <laughs> going on there but they're very broad and not really the best way to figure out what your undertone is so to figure out your undertone one way that i'd highly recommend the easiest way that i would even say is this i know that we all at this stage have at least one foundation that matches us well we just love the way that that foundation looks on us doesn't matter if the foundation maybe you might like the way that the shade is like the way the shade matches you but then you don't like how it wears but then the most important thing here is that you know that one foundation that matches you better than others use that right it doesn't matter if it is like drugstore high-end use it for this thing that i'm about to recommend first of all go online and do a research most of the time brands break down what categories or families or what undertones that certain shades are targeted at with almost every brand i think i know these days or i have seen these days so there is a shade for the foundation but if you go on their website there's a little explanation just under or by the side of that particular shade that you like it should at least tell you if it is neutral, warm, cool, olive, it will most likely tell you the type of undertones that you have with that shade that matches you. That is a very, very good way to figure out what your undertone is. So in a situation where let's say that your favorite foundation from a brand does not have this type of breakdown, one thing I know that I used to do back in the day is to take that shade that I like to a counter, just mess around, you're allowed to swatch. So you pump it out and then you take your time and you begin to just test maybe if you want to make it easier you can tell someone like an attendant in the store to give you a group of shades that you will most likely fall under and then what you do is without even the assistance pump everything out and compare it to that one that matches you perfectly i do this like every time i'm going to try a new foundation and i know that i have to go to a counter to get swatched i always go with my favorite foundation shade and for me one foundation shade for me that works perfectly I use it for reference or as a starting point when I'm trying to figure out what my shade will be. With another brand is Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter Foundation in 420. That foundation is my perfect match. It's like my perfect match. So that's a very good way. Use the foundation that you love the most, especially the way that it matches you. Use that one. You might have been matched in store. You might have come across it on your own. You might have found that shade yourself. Just hold on to it and always use it as some sort of reference when you're trying to get foundation from another brand and also whatever description that the brand offers for that particular shade in terms of undertones should tell you what your undertone is it should give you an idea what your undertone is there are also websites that are dedicated to helping you um some brands actually have this feature um built into their websites at the moment but then one of my favorites that i've been using for years is a website called foundation most of the time when i'm trying to figure out what my shade especially back in the day what my shade will be with an another foundation or a new foundation I use foundation so what the foundation website does is it asks you to give it your foundation shade with a couple of brands so not just one brand it doesn't even like it when you give it just one brand it will ask you to put in at least three or four and with that it will help you figure out what you will most likely use with 
a particular foundation range with another brand. Um, you can also go online and try to understand the different undertones for yourself. And the minute you understand it, outside of what I've just explained, and also take proper look, like a closer look at the foundation that you love the most or you are currently using, it begins to make you conscious of certain things. And at this point now, I think that you can now pay closer attention to pictures that you've taken with friends. Look at them very closely. You will see that outside of one person being darker, lighter, which is almost the first obvious thing that we notice, you see that there are different colors that kind of pop out when you're looking. You see that, oh, this my friend looks a bit more yellow. And having yellow undertone doesn't mean that someone has to be lighter than you. So you can actually see a friend who is much lighter than you, for example, but you see that there is more pink coming through with her skin, the way that her skin looks more pink or red. And you're looking at someone, someone else who is a lot darker, but then you're seeing that there's a lot of yellow, you know, more yellow, more gold kind of coming through with her, you know, with that person's skin tone. You know, with this, you automatically begin to notice that outside of skin tone, there are hues. There are hues. There are pinks, golds, blues, reds that actually stand out irrespective of how dark or how light someone is. So one last thing that I'd highly recommend, especially if you're here on YouTube and you watch YouTube videos as much as I do is to find influencers or creators who do makeup tutorials or do makeup related videos who are the same foundation shade as you. So let's say for example that I've just gone to MAC and I've matched myself and I'm an NW45 in MAC, right? One thing that you can do is to go on YouTube and just search for MAC Studio Fix Fluid NW45. The YouTube algorithm takes into consideration what people list in their description boxes. You might think that, oh, a lot of people are not just going to put their foundation shades on the video title, but YouTube also factors things like the description box. So you'll be surprised that a lot of the videos that will pop up for you, those creators have your exact foundation shade listed somewhere in their description box. That's how I found this YouTuber called Andrea Renee. She's basically my skin tone. Like, I'm sure that if we ever see ourselves like side by side, right? We are literally going to look the exact same because every foundation she has listed in her description box, every foundation shade she's ever used down to tinted moisturizers, they are always an exact match for me. And she lives in the States. So most of the time when there is a new foundation like popping up before I can even get my hands on it, I try to see if she's done a review. If she's done a review, whatever she used is most likely what I am going to use. And you can also do this for me as well. So take note of what I say my foundation shades are. Let's say that you're very close to my skin tone and you found that you use shades that are very similar to what I use. Pay very close attention and then use them as reference so you can also apply this to me as well. I know that there's some of my subscribers who actually, if there's a new foundation out, they always wait for my review because they know that my shade is most likely going to be their shade, you know? So try to find creators like that for yourself. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Also share this video with anybody who you think is going to find the things that I've shared in this video helpful. I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah.